All right, thanks. Welcome. I'm Kirk Hawkins. Um, there's two things that I kind of, we, we say internally that we're about. We say, one, we're here to put the fun and the sport back in flying and to make it much more accessible to the mainstream market. And the second thing we say is that we're here to do that by creating the coolest, most badass aircraft, the sport that the world's ever seen. So if I ask you to think about, if I ask anybody here to think about a product called a sports car, odds are you'd all know that. You'd all have no idea what that, I mean, you'd have no problem thinking what that is. Something like this. Now I said a sport boat, that as well, something like this. How about a sport bike, sport jet ski, sport ATV? The odds are you'd all know what these products are. They're part of an industry called power sports. It's very big, about two million uh, units sold every year, brand new in the US alone, and it's about $30 billion. Now if I said think about a sport plane, the odds are you'd have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> and the reason you don't is that they don't exist. And the reason they do not exist is that the regulations have never allowed them to exist until now. Recently, the FAA changed the rules and created an entirely new class of vehicles called sport planes. And in doing so, they've created a new industry, a two to six billion dollar market opportunity around a new class of consumer focused sport vehicles. This is Icon Aircraft. We're about creating the next power sport. This is the Icon A5, the next power sport vehicle. product right, but in the end of the day, it's a widget. It's a very cool widget that happens to fly, but let's talk about what the basics here are. Big picture, this is about taking advantage of major deregulation change that happened just a few years ago. It opens up huge markets, two to six billion dollars, consumer focus. Think what Apple did for computers, we can now do for airplanes. And we've got 50 million already in backlog in, in just the last year in, uh, in, uh, in uh, sales. The strategy, again, it's mainstream consumer focus. It's about building a brand in a space that right now nobody owns. That's the big opportunity here. Team to do this, you put together a world-class team. I'll talk about that in a minute. The product, as you've seen, hopefully you can tell, it's, it's completely aimed at the mainstream market around power sports. There's no one close currently. Execution to date so far, we've been on time and under budget. We got one round left to get to production and break even, and that's an $18 million C round. So what changed? It's called the biggest change in aviation in 50 years, and it's exactly that. Two things, light sport aircraft category and the sport pilot license. So what are these? Together what they do is they make aviation safer and much more accessible. So the, so the aircraft, light sport, are two people, one engine, 140 miles an hour, top speed. Bottom line, it can be sold, it can be built, sold ready to fly, and at the price of a high-end sports car. Sport pilot, new license, you fly daytime only and in good weather and away from the congested airspace around LAX, which is still about 80% of the US airspace. The bottom line there is now you can get training in about three to four weeks and about three to $4,000. So what does it mean for consumers? This means that we've got airplanes now that, and you'll see in the future, that are half the price of current personal flying vehicles. They're half the operating cost, half the training time and much easier access. Market size, two to six billion, ton of, ton of research back at Stanford on this, but here's the bottom line. Big market, we looked at just the US to get started, and there's two demographics, specifically. The existing aviation, existing pilot market, about two million, which less than 10% own their own plane currently, but the very big power sports demographic. Combine that, filter it, what you're looking at something that's at least two billion, likely six billion. 
Who are these folks? So I mentioned existing pilots. These are sort of like the computer users 30 years ago who had a computer. They're very technical, right? The entire aviation industry has been focused on this, on this character for the last 50 years, right? <laughs> Likes complicated technical devices, and he's very good at that. We're viable if that's the only market we ever address. The big opportunity, though, is this market. It's the new power sports enthusiasts. It's these people. I can go through a bunch of detail about each one, but I want. The bottom line here is that we've got people who are very competent, very confident, a lot more money than they have time. They're not going to build it. They're not going to work on it. They want to go out and have fun on the weekends, and, and they'll pay for it. And many of these people have a latent, almost aviation gene they've had since they were this big, wanting an airplane. And now we can, and now we can uh, deliver that. Team, uh, big ambition, right? Uh, the, the first thing we did is try to go out and get, and get the right team. Quick background on me, engineering, mechanical, uh, aerospace, worked in aerospace. Grew up in power sports, racing motocross and dirt bikes and skydiving hang gliding since I was a kid. Uh, also had a good fortune of flying everything from ultralights up through airliners, 757, 767, and even flew F-16s uh, for the Air Force. Co-founder, Steen Strands back here. Steen was a Harvard undergrad, econ major, investment banker, turned uh, entrepreneur, engineer, went back to Stanford. He and I met back in 95. Uh, he's an expert in product design process and was teaching product design at Stanford when we got together to start Icon, given the opportunity of making an airplane and get some more product. Uh, the next thing we did was bring on the world's best talent in aircraft design and construction. So we turned a company, we looked at a company out in uh, uh, Mojave called Scale, Scale Composites, led by Burt Rutan, which is a legendary aircraft designer. And we're fortunate enough to have his VP of engineering and most accomplished engineer join our team about two years ago. Uh, these two gentlemen have, have built more aircraft, 15 aircraft and spacecraft. In fact, if you've heard of uh, XPRIZE Spaceship One, uh, the Voyager, uh, Virgin's Global Flyer uh, was actually uh, designed from napkin all the way up through engineering, even test flight through the gentleman uh, on the far right. Uh, so what we've got here really is a humbling uh, rock star team. The product, uh, two-place amphibious airplane. Takes off on land or on water just as easily. It flies 300 miles, uh, burns auto gas or av gas. Base price, $139,000. You can take off at LAX if you're qualified, fly to Catalina, land in the water. You can fly up to the mountains, land on the back on a, on a grass strip, a, uh, a, a dirt road. The, the versatility and the experience is something that the market hasn't really even understood yet. Folding wings. So compact storage at the hangar at, at the airport or at your house. Transportability, big deal. Uh, like most power sports, you think of Mastercraft ski boats. You don't buy them at the lake. You buy them at the, in the retail store. Uh, market and you take them where you're going. Now you have an airplane, you can, you can fly it there or you can take it with you. Important feature here, and that's the cockpit. You're used to walking in Southwest Air, you're a virgin, <laughs> of course. And, <laughs> and before you turn right, you look left in the cockpit and you go, oh my goodness, that's a space shuttle in there. There's no way I could possibly fly like that. Well, for all weather, all airspace, day or night transportation, you need that. But for daytime, good weather, sport flying, you don't need that. What you need is this. So we now have the idea, got it, that we can deliver you a product that's very easy and, and, uh, and intuitive to use. Safe. Not, this is not, uh, it is rocket science, actually. Off the shelf technology. Deploys in about two or three seconds, can stop the entire aircraft and let it down and you walk away. This is the proverbial, this is the airbag for the car, this for the airplane. So uh, how do the industry respond, the, the, the existing incumbents, the large aircraft manufacturers, how do they respond to this regulation change? Well, SES is the biggest one and this is their product. It's a good airplane, it's a good training plane. It's, it's, it's aimed squarely at Bill, who you saw earlier, and no offense, any Bill's in the room. Uh, but clearly it's not a power sport product and will never have mainstream adoption, right? Nothing like a vehicle design for that can be. This is their cockpit. Again, it tells you what they're thinking. It's like computers 30 years ago, very technical, right? Nothing out there is very Apple-like and it, it encourages you as a mainstream consumer to go, ah, I can do that and I can do that safely. How are we doing? Progress. Product development. Flew for the first time back in 2008. It's been in uh, flight tests since, uh, since then. Over 60 flight tests, we finished uh, phase one. Aircraft is performing beautifully, uh, beautifully. And as an amphibian, 
likely, literally, the most sophisticated light amphibian that's been ever, that's been ever uh, designed. Land testing phase now. We're in the trailer testing phase. In fact, if you get a chance, go out. It's actually being towed by a car out in front of the valet there. Uh, you can see it. And then user testing. Again, this is not about speed, range, and payload. This is about the total user experience and about you as a, as a consumer. So we're focused heavily on understanding and delivering a vehicle that is very well thought through about all the aspects and not just its utility. It's also how much fun it is. Take you on a quick, I'll show you a quick uh, video, Dave, of airplane flying. Very maneuverable, very easy to fly. This is the amphibious trailer, so it's kind of cool. Uh, you can launch it like a boat at the marina or at the airport or taxi in the water just like this. It taxi in or, or taxis out. Patented sea wings here uh, protect the uh, propeller from water spray. Takes off easy to about five or seven hundred feet. You can even fly with the windows out on this, on this thing. It's super cool. <laughs> Lands on land, you're back at LAX if you're qualified or Santa Monica or wherever else. Watch the whole, watch this aircraft turn and you'll see we've had some of the best marine architects in the world working on this and you'll see a maneuverability in, in this airplane like no seaplanes ever had. It is the proverbial jet ski for the sky. It's, it, it's, it's about that much fun. <laughs> Except this one can actually take off. Having here a turn. So the airplane is designed to be extremely easy to fly, very safe, and very fun, and you're back to your house after you've impressed your friends at a lake. So we were chosen <laughs> this year the most prestigious uh, 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 design award, the IDEA International Business Week uh, Design Award. We won first place in transportation. That's over every car, every motorcycle, every transportation vehicle built last year. Uh, uh, media validation, off the charts, and I'll go fast here. Uh, Unprecedented media, and this is, we have no marketing budget whatsoever, right? It's all organic, right? Uh, in fact, we were in the cover of Popular Science's December edition as a top 100 innovation of 2008. But most importantly, what are the consumers saying? What's the market saying? We've had 325 aircraft deposits since we opened the book just last year, 50 million in, uh, in a backlog. We'll have 100 million by the time we start production, which is in two years. And most importantly, staggering statistic, 35% of our current people putting on deposits are not pilots. This is blowing away the aviation industry who've never seen anything like this. Timeline, here we are, sales ramp. Uh, 100 years where we're, where, uh, we're sustainable, that's all we ever do. We've already sold this many. Acquisition target here, break even, IPO potential out there. Four rounds of financing, production start, first two's done, raise an $18 million C round right now. Last one is, is to, uh, to uh, scale. I chart. Don't worry about it. Top line here, most important sales. We're looking at very conservative numbers. If we get to 1,000, 2,000 units a year, you're looking at a business that's a half a billion to a billion dollar valuation on 40 million in equity investment. Next round is 18 million. Quote I'll leave you, one of my favorites. Uh, you can see who's, who you think said this. And I gave you a hint, it wasn't me. The exhilaration of flying is too keen, the pleasure is too great for it to be neglected as a sport. Orville Wright, 1903. Thank you.